So in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate something different in C++, which you may not have come across before. Um, I'm just going to make sure that my program is set up correctly. So I'm going to make sure I've got the correct libraries used. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that I've got my namespace, uh, my standard namespace set up. Now, in this program, I'm going to demonstrate to you something different. Whereas in our last video, you will have seen how we can do if statements and we can do selection that way. This video is going to demonstrate how you can do it by doing a simple program that uh, gives you your output. So we're going to start off C out and we're going to say, uh, what season is it in Australia uh, at Christmas? Now, remember to put things on a new line. We use a backslash n, and we're going to say we're going to say one. Is it the summer? And I'm going to go backslash two. Is it the spring? All right. Uh, sorry. So. One, is it the summer, backslash N. Two, is it the spring? All right, backslash N for another new line. Three, is it the winter, backslash N. And we're gonna go for option four, autumn. And we're gonna say, all right, choice. And what this will do, and I'm gonna test it just so you can see it. So I've done my first line and when I run it here, it's just going to ask me the question because out, all right, and you can see how backslash n has set that up. Now, one thing you'll notice is my formatting isn't consistent. So I'm going to change that and test that again. There you go. That's more efficient. It's now waiting for a choice. I now need to get the code that gets that choice. So I'm going to say, I want a number. So we're going to go int choice. All right, that's what that's doing there. So I'm going to int choice. Then I'm going to create something called a switch statement. So rather than doing the if statements, we can do a switch. Now what a switch allows us to do is have multiple options similar to a if statement. But what we can do is we can have a different number of choices. So I'm just going to do one at the moment just so you can see how this works. So if the number one is input, all right? I'm going to indent that so you can see what happens. I'm going to output correct. It is summer in Australia at Christmas. And I'm going to put backslash n and finish my line. All right. And then I'm going to break out of the statement because it's finished. Now that will work because what's going to happen now is if I run it, I've got my integer for my choice. All right. It won't work until you actually add in the input. Sorry, my bad. All right. So make sure you put your input in. So I've had to go back to that. Now, if I run this, it's going to ask me my choice. All right. So I'm just going to click over here. And if I press number one, and enter it will say correct now what you can do because that's broken out of the code now all right is i can go back so that was case one i'm going to press enter and do case two and i can press tab c out incorrect it is summer in australia at christmas slash n not forgetting my syntax and break now to save myself some time here what i'm going to do uh, is copy and paste this and change it so i'm going to do case three and case four but then change it up slightly. So case two would say it's incorrect. And then what I'm going to say is spring 
is in November. I'm going to change this one here and say winter is in June. And for this one, I'm going to say autumn is in March. Now, if I was to run this now, these statements here detect your output. So if I run that, if I typed in the number three, it says it's incorrect and it breaks out of it. So that is how you can do a simple case switch so that you don't have to do multiple if statements. All you need to do is say the case and the number that you want for your action.